Uh, my name is Ahana Kumra and I'm an actor. I'm from uh, Lucknow originally, but I've studied with Madhulika in school, but I moved to Bombay in school when I was in seventh standard. And Madhulika has been a school friend and a very close friend since uh, I was 12. Uh, so we've literally grown, it, like, grown up together. We've seen each other's journeys um, and I'm so glad. Uh, I'm very happy and very proud of what Madhulika has achieved over uh, you know, all these years in her profession and her personal life. I think both Asim and Madhulika complete each other. They are very good partners, they are very good um, spouses and uh, you know, and they are, uh, and I think they are both very good doctors. Uh, I am somebody who uh, literally uh, calls Madhulika as an SOS call for everything, literally. Like if there is, and during shoots, because I am an actor and I shoot in various locations and there are lots of things that go wrong and kaput with our skin and hair and there are lots of SOS situations as actors that we all face in our day to day lives. Um, so I think the one person who always comes into my mind whenever anything goes wrong is Madhu. And uh, you know, literally Madhu and Asim have been like solid rock pillars during my entire journey of being an actor, of being a person, of being a human being, I think, you know, more than anything else. I've had dengue where I've, I've had to suffer massive hair loss. Um, and that happened during, you know, in between a shoot. And then I had to run into another shoot. And then I had to literally be like in three different countries. And I remember like constantly consulting with Madhu over a phone call when I was in London, you know, doing this uh, crazy call and she really calmed me down. And when I came to Bombay, I, uh, you know, I continued my treatment with her and uh, it, you know, my hair was restored and thankfully, you know, thanks to her and Asim, like a lot of like my eyes, <laughs> my, my skin, my hair has been in place. Um, and I think like I've been waiting for them to launch their own clinic for the longest time. So uh, I'm glad that they both have finally embarked on this journey and started their own clinic because I think we need good dermats. Madhulika and Asim are both fantastic doctors, fantastic dermats and I would trust them completely with my skin and hair. And so should you. Just come here and trust me, be rest assured, you'll be absolutely fine and looking good. Hi everybody, a very happy Women's Day to all. Um, you know, us being women, we have often been told that you can't do this or you can't do that and you should not follow this path and you should get married and you should do this. There's so many shoulds and can'ts that we hear all our lives, you know, that uh, you should do it is something that, uh, you know, that it, it is a rarity that we hear. And I'm glad that, you know, uh, at least I feel that we're privileged. We come from a society of privilege where, you know, our parents always tell us, you do what you want, follow your path, follow your career. When I started my career as an actor, I was told by my father, don't do it, you know, the film industry is not good. Uh, we don't know what sort of people will you meet there, you know, there are all sorts of people. But then I told him one thing, I said there's nothing that you should worry about because of the way I've been brought up. I've kept my values intact and I think I will stand my ground. I work very hard on my craft and I'll be hired for the work I do. And then I think I'm a living example of, uh, you know, sheer hard work and just, you know, values and my systems in place that I have reached where I have. Um, and I'm sure a lot of y'all are struggling in your day-to-day -day lives. Uh, a lot of women do not come from privilege. They don't come from spaces where uh, education is available to them. Or professions are easily, uh, you know, uh, that you can pursue them. But uh, don't let anybody say that you can't do this. You should, and you should always believe that I can, because that's the only belief you should follow. So happy Women's Day to all. Do what you want. And trust me, if you just work hard on your craft and be set in your value system, there's nothing in the world that you can't achieve. So happy Women's Day to all. Thank you.